high cost of paradise is about to get higher. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. Today, Matson Navigation announced it's raising its shipping rates again. The first of two rate hikes kicks in this Sunday, and a second and higher one will go into effect a month later. KITV Force Catherine Cruz is here with more on how much of an increase we'll see and why. Catherine? Well, we've all been watching the price of oil creep up again. These hikes are a double whammy that stand to affect the price of most goods coming into the state. $20 at the grocery store didn't go too far for the Hugh family. They were shocked at the news of the latest shipping hikes. We have no choice. We're on an island. And uh, the fuel rate impacts everything, gas, everything. So it's going to make it that much harder in this economy to make ends meet. So I'm a little bit worried. And these poor college students say the news made them feel even poorer. I usually can go to the grocery store on $30 and be able to get enough to feed me and my roommates for a week. And I don't think I will be to anymore. Matson had a previously announced hike of close to 5% starting on Sunday, and then a month later, a second hike of close to 9% would kick in. That stands to affect everything brought into the state, from food to lumber. Matson blamed the Middle East unrest where oil producers have raised the stakes. In a written statement, Matson said bunker fuel prices have recently exceeded $100 per barrel and are quickly approaching the historic highs last experienced in the summer of 2008. Armstrong Produce, which brings in much of the state's perishables, was shocked to see the hikes coming so close together. It expects to see the cost of shipping a 40-foot container of lettuce rise about $600 more, which will mean a head of lettuce may cost you a few cents more at the store. The company is nervously eyeing hikes in fuel in order to run its trucks and keep its air-conditioned facility running. We're in the business of fresh produce, and so it's a constantly moving, changing kind of thing. But everybody, whether it's rice or, you know, anything else that comes into the state, you know, we're all going to see that kind of increase, which ultimately will be passed on to the consumers. <laughs> Small businesses like Manoa Barbecue have already raised plate lunch prices and extended hours to make ends meet. There's nothing we can do about it. So you have to charge your customers more? Yes, no matter they come or not, but just face the fact. So it's a really tough time for everybody. That's what happens when we depend so much on goods coming in by air or sea. Now, Matson did lower rates twice last year, but the hikes will now push the fuel surcharge up to 35 percent. But if it's any consolation, Guam and Micronesia will say its rates go up almost 2 percent higher. Laura? Wow, tough stuff. All right, thanks, Catherine.